This is the small Audi A1 it's called. That's the new E-Class. That's nice. Yeah. See, that, that's a beautiful that's car. Hundred thousand dollar car. That's that. A nice car, Fuck, yeah. it's beautiful. It's an E. It's an E two hundred D, two twenty D. This one's a very fast one. That one, yeah. yeah. You don't want that. Yeah, no good ones here. I must come on Sunday to have a spinner. See, this is an A class, but we don't want that. You want to? You want to? We got to be rear wheel drive. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and I got an interesting email in. This is from my good friend Nick. Hi Archie! Hi Archie! Thank you so much for my last video, Regrets of the Dying, and your follow-up vid with Nick who was very ill. And just, just for Nick, yes, Nick has actually passed away very, very sadly. So um, it's, uh, it's really, really quite sad, but um, Put a link, link to this video here, and uh, you can see the video, the interview I had with Nick, which was before Nick died, which um, very sad indeed. Um, okay, I found it very moving, and glad my request led to something positive, which was excellent all round. I hope. Please only use my first name as you have some very vicious bath mats who become more vinyl by the day. I've flipped you another 20 U US bucks today for another vid on a completely different topic and one you'll love. Cars! So, okay, so I am like you and you hate to see luxury cars going to the scrapyard. And I can't save them all, but I can save one. I'm looking for a car up to... 1500 pounds approximately 2600 Aussie dollars and is practical enough to use frequently I'm not really looking for an investment but something I can use enjoy and cherish but does not need but does need to be reliable and not stuck in the garage so my big question is what should I buy Audi Mercedes or BMW and what model should I buy within that brand i.e. C, E or S class or should I go off the page and look at a Volkswagen Phaeton which is which has Bentley underpinnings but looks like a fat Passat or something else I haven't considered anyways I've enclosed some ads that are genuine on the UK version of Auto Trader and you can see the great deals for yourself I expect you'll be sh you'll be in for a shock. Appreciate any advice you can give. All the best. Keep up the channel, UK Nick. Okay. P.S. Video suggestions. Ask Mimi T about her views on MG towels. Okie dokie, Nick. What a very interesting question. And uh, he also sent me another follow up to that. No problem, Arch, because I sent him I was running a little bit behind. I told him I was running a bit behind there. Uh, I, I, uh, I told him I apologized to him. And uh, I also forgot to mention I am only looking after minty, low mileage, cherished examples of cars as servicing is a killer, as we know. Plus, I have an independent garage who can fix most Beamers, Audis, and Mercs with new old stock spares. So no issue there. Look forward to the vid. Best regards, UK Nick. Very, very interesting indeed. And um, I got to tell you, Nick, this is, this is a great topic. Because my old man and me, we're actually looking about going into business selling secondhand Mercedes. I got to be honest with you, Nick, the Brisbane business mentor business, that was a fucking dud. Man, we didn't even get one inquiry. Brisbane business mentors. Fuck, that was a disaster. And my old man, you know, he gave a million dollars to my stepmom. He's got a beautiful home. 
He's got a unit at the coast with a debt on it. He's got some shares with a debt on them. But he's got a beautiful home and he's always wanted a Mercedes. So we're looking at buying five to six year old Benz, low K's, minter examples and selling them. Now my advice to you, Nick, my advice to you. Now see, prices are completely different in the UK to Australia. And cars are expensive here, like a new C-Class is about 70,000 Australian dollars. And they're very expensive, that's like a C200. 70,000! And, you know, it's just, it's not just tax, it's because the market for prestige cars is a smaller market. We've only got 20, 23 million population, 23 million, so, you know, we're pretty small market. So makers decide to sell these things as prestige items, a premium market, and they rape us very vigorously. Hourly rates at BMW or a Mercedes dealer can be about two, 240 an hour. Ooh, that's dear. Now, my advice to you, Nick, I, I, if I were you, I would specialize in one brand and model. There's no point, you know, doing a Merc, doing an Audi, then doing an Alpha and getting burnt, man. Help stay away from that Italian shit. <coughs> My advice there, you know, go with one brand, learn the intricacies with each model. Like certain C classes, certain better engines, the compressor engines seem to be quite respected. And, you know, you've got to try and you've got to get into a phase where you know your shit. So I'd, I'd concentrate, Audi, Mercedes or BMW, look, the big question is, what do you like most? And what, what is the better quality vehicle? What's cheaper to run? In my country, uh, Mercedes is the premium, BMW two and Audi sort of a third. And the interesting thing is the Audis, I believe, are made in Germany. Some of our BMWs and Mercedes are South African because that's a right-hand drive market. So, you know, it's, it, it is interesting. Um, not that the country of manufacture is a guarantee of quality. I've got to be honest with you, with, with Audi itself there, that DSG gearbox, that is an absolute fucking shitter. Abs it's like the Alpha Silly Speed. Fucking stay away from that shit. Audi... Volts, anything from Volkswagen, I, I think Volkswagen are a complete bunch of cunts. So I'd, I'd be fucking staying away from those cunts. Personally, my advice to you, Mercedes or BMW, I'd be going, I'd be staying with Merck. Now I know Merck had a terrible, terrible history. Some of the Mercedes in recent times have been fucking atrocious. But I... In my opinion there, I, I've always thought the Mercedes-Benzes were a, a pip better in quality than Beamers. Beamers have gone very plasticky. You know, this is the whole thing, <coughs> Nick. In recent years, what these car makers have done is absolutely terrible. BMW doesn't have a dipstick for the oil. They don't have, you know, they, they've got these components sealed for life, which basically means they fuck you over if something goes wrong with one of these parts. It's quite nasty shit. My own opinion is, I, I, I reckon out of those three brands, Audi, Merck, or BMW, I, 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 I personally would stick with, with mint Mercedes Benzes. I, I think that really is going to be the better brand. My old man saying the same thing to me. We want to get, get into the car business. We want to sell a few cars. And uh, but there's no point learning, you know, everything. Just pick one model, one variation, and, and learn it. And uh, then when you buy the second one. So if I were you, I, I would buy one and then constantly turn the bitch over. Get one, clean it up, detail it, and then sell it and get the next one. Get, you know, you have a nice car for free. But uh, I, I reckon out of those cars you've mentioned, there's not really bad choices. I mean, the, 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 the A, A4 is a great car. The 3 Series, the, you're looking at the E30, E sorry, E46 
E90 range. They're, they're a great car, and the, the C class is... I, I'd possibly put a little bit more in, Nick. I, I, I think, you know, you probably... <sighs> I went and looked at discount cars in Australia. These are like 15, 16 year old cars, early, early noughties. And I think a little bit more will get you a much better car. So I'd, I'd probably look at, you know, 5,000 pounds. I reckon you're gonna get a much better motor car than these dogs. Some of these dogs are getting a little bit old and haggard, haggard, but Low mileage, old lady type owner. And, and, and Nick, I, I, I hope you're going to respect this thing. I hope you've got a garage because that's the big thing. You know, in my country, it's the sun. It's a real bitch. In your country, it's the fucking salt on the roads. It's the miserable, damn fucking weather you cunts in the UK seem to be lumbered with. So... <laughs> My advice to you, I'd, I'd probably increase it to 5,000 pounds, okay? For about thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000. I'd buy low mileage, mint examples, full logbook, everything. Garage it. Keep it nice, Nick. Don't treat it like a bitch. Be nice to this car and it'll look after you. That's my advice. I, I, I personally... I don't think you can go wrong with an A4, a C-Class, or a 3-Series, but personally, unless you got one bias out of those cars, I I'd be going Merc. I reckon Merc is probably the best one. I just feel like Mercedes myself. I said to my old man, we're thinking about selling cars together. Let's get C, C and E. Let's get a C. We'll, we'll, we'll go and buy, you know, a, uh, a uh, four- or five-year-old c with um, under under uh, 60,000 kilometers on it. What's that, 40,000 miles? That's the sort of shit we want to deal in. Nice, clean, minty, 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 minty Mercedes. So that would be my preference. I reckon Merck. <coughs> now, Merck had the terrible phase when they were, they were in bed with Daimler. Daimler Chrysler. That was, sorry, Chrysler, Chrysler, Chrysler were cunts. Chrysler's now gone with Fiat. Fuck me dead. You think you think Fiat can get any fucking worse? Wait till Chrysler comes in. Those fucking cunts at Chrysler, they nearly killed Mercedes. They were bad, evil cunts. Bad, evil cunts. But I think Mercedes would be the way I'd go. I'd go Mercedes C, get a mint, get one that grandma's had, and she's, you know, it's fucking mint up, mint up. <laughs> I'd go low spec C, less to break down and fuck up. That's what I'd be doing. Nick, really keen to hear what you buy. Thank you for trusting me. And that was a cool vid we did with Nick. That was brilliant. So I, I really do think that's one of the best interviews I've done. Archie Luxury signing out, fuckers. It's a C250. I can search online. This this is actually a good car. This it's twenty grand, right? It's a little bit old, right? Mm. But it's 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 a six cylinder, two point eight litre. It's ten years old. That's the previous shape. See, that's that's the yeah. That's like that. Filipino lawyer had. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. She had the two door version of that.
Yeah, these, these are like demo ones, I think. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.